Okay, P Street Garage. Uh, just recently, uh, I reupholstered the seats on my 62 Comet, and uh, I made a video of this just a couple days ago. Uh, what I'm going to do today is these are all the plastics that go around the base of the seat. If you did watch that video, you saw me uh, strip those old seats down, down to the frames. Uh, and what I want to do is uh, I got first. I got to make these seats uh, black. So I bought some uh, some duplicolor vinyl and fabric paint. I'm gonna paint these. But before I paint these, uh, a couple of them are in, in pretty rough shape. I got a few small cracks here. Uh, these I could probably live with, but a piece like this one here, uh, I can't. You know, I can't put this back on the car like that. It would just be flopping around. So I'm going to attempt a little repair on this. Uh, they're very filthy, so uh, I'm going to start by cleaning these up. I'm going to try to uh, repair this. I'm going to try a method that I've seen online, I've never actually tried, and it's where you heat up little metal staples or little metal rings, and you sort of stitch them into the plastic to try to fuse this together. That's going to be my attempt, and uh, let's get started. Let's see if we can make these look half decent. I got all my pieces cleaned up. Um, before I paint them, uh, you saw the one that had the really bad break. I'm going to try to repair this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use a soldering gun with some staples. I'm going to try to break off these staples and I'm going to try to heat them up and embed them in the plastic. Uh, they're a little bit small. I don't know if this is going to work. This is a trial. Uh, I thought I had a better soldering gun than this. Um, I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, I might try heating those uh, staples up with a propane torch and then dropping them on. I've got my piece back together. On the other side, I've put a piece of uh, duct tape to sort of try to help to keep it together. So um, let me just get uh, situated here. I'm going to try to drop some hot staples or push some hot staples into this plastic. No idea if it's going to work, uh, but let's give it a try. I think it's worth a shot. Okay. Well, I got my uh, soldering gun hot. Let's just try a little dab into the plastic, see what happens here. Okay, I'm definitely melting that plastic. Hmm. I wonder if I could just touch the two plastics together and make like a welding. Huh. I'm not sure. The idea is to drop a staple and sort of push it into place. Uh, I don't have my tripod with me. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can to try to show you this process. Um, all right, let me get repositioned. All right. This is purely a trial. Let me stretch my cord out a bit here. Okay, let's, give, let's see what happens here. I'm try to push just on the staple, see if I can push that in. No, it moved on me. It moved on me, come on. Stay in one spot. Need three hands. Okay, that's melting in, I think. Push, push, push. I pushed it back out, all right. 
I didn't really want the orientation of the staple to be like this, but I honest to God would need a second set of hands. And it's because I'm uh, holding the camera because I'm not at home right now and I don't have my tripod, which would make for a little bit better filming, but all right. Let's just do a little dabs, little dabs, little dabs. Try not to catch the, uh, try not to catch anything on fire here. Let's push this down into position. What has happened? Has anything happened here or is this just going to fall apart? That's me blowing. Okay, do we have anything here at all? Let's see, because normally if I pick this up... Okay, it's cooled enough that I can touch it. Ideally, I'll have the staples running this way. Like a stitch. This one kind of moved around on me, but it was my first time. Okay, let's uh, break off another staple and try this again. Yeah, I think I got I think I got two that time. Of course I gotta let the I gotta let the trigger go every time so it cools down a bit. Let's get this let's get this smoking here. It should be glowing red. I said the backside does not have to be beautiful by any means. It just has to keep the plastic together and uh, prevent it from flopping around. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of redness here. Let me try to touch this now. Ah, oh, please stop moving. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe if they weren't staples at all, it'd be better. Maybe it would just be a little flat piece of metal something to think about. I think the example that I had, I've seen somebody doing this on TikTok or something. Gently, gently, gently heat up. I think I got a double staple on that one there, so it's a little bit, took a little bit longer time to heat, but I think it's going in. Patience. Be patient. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, yeah, now they're coming apart. Buggers. All right. More heat. Push that right in there. There we go. Now, I'm going to make sure my garbage bag underneath doesn't catch on fire. Okay, there should be enough heat. How is this guy here doing? Probably bugger this up now. Okay, it's hard to tell because I've got tape on the other side, but, um, okay, I'm going to keep going and work my way up here now. I've got to somehow try to find a way to hold these together. A third or fourth hand would be handy, but I don't have that right now. Okay, let me just set you down and just uh, a closer look. I need to see if this is actually working. Okay. Well, I've reworked my top two ones there, and uh, something must be happening because my looks like my gap is opening up a little bit. So let me try to. Uh, I'm right down on the garbage bag here. But let's see what happens. I'll try to embed another one. Lay down. Okay, it's in 
ね Let's get another one in place. If I can just slide one on with a hot tip, see what happens. Get up here somewhere. No, not like that. All right. Anywhere in this vicinity will work. Oh, come on. All right. That's where that third hand would come in handy. All right. Stand by. Okay, well, I got a few more stitches on uh, with the uh, camera off. I just uh, I just couldn't hold the camera and do this all at the same time. Uh, so, it does not look beautiful, but uh, this actually does work. And uh, I think I'm going to embed my last staple here. I got one that I just bent into an L, uh, L shape, sort of. So I'll try to push that in here. Okay, that's going in place. That should make uh, that corner piece there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, surprisingly, it does not look great from the back, but from the other side, it's presentable. I mean, if you remember, this was practically broken in two pieces. Uh, now you could even take a bit of time and do a little bit of fiberglass work, a little bit of crack filling work, but uh, I think this is okay. Certainly feels sturdy enough. So uh, I'm gonna let this cool off a bit. Have one more closer look at it, and then uh, we'll throw some uh, vinyl and fabric paint on these. So stitching plastic with a soldering iron and some staples. Uh, it actually works. Here's our first piece. Let's see if we can turn this black. Keep it light at first. Let's just give it a light dusting all over and then uh, we'll walk away for 10 or 15. Clear the hose. All right, let's come back in a bit. Give this a, uh, a second coat. Coat number two.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's let this cure up and uh, two coats might do it. If it needs a third one, we'll do that. Um, let's get these all done. Okay, well, here are my uh, trim pieces all painted up. And uh, they turned out quite nice. I'm happy, very happy with those. Uh, I was debating whether I was going to reuse these or not on my seats. Uh, mostly because this one was basically split in two. Uh, but I'm quite happy with this repair. This is not a concourse car by any means, as you know. Uh, this is going to trim out uh, the seat quite nicely. Again, that's my cracked one that was busted in two. And, uh, you know, it's going to sit kind of like this. Just to trim around the, uh, the base of the seat. Very happy with this little repair with the stitching and the... Uh, well, you just saw me do that there with the, with the gun, but anyway. Happy with those. Uh, once I get all the seats reassembled and I put them back in the car, I'll post another video of that as well. But for now, this was just uh, fixing up and painting the old plastics. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Catch you on the next one.